Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, um, I wanted to have a little fun doing uh, an experiment. Surprise. <laughs> um, with uh, different pigments. Um, you know, uh, from my prior videos, I love, um, I have a couple brands that I absolutely love. This Little Piggy, which is by the Fluid Art Company. I'll link them below. It's uh, Shelly Carruthers. Um, art line and pigment line and um, they're just beautiful and the other one that I love is the color art primary elements I'll also link that below and I usually link them um, in my videos when I'm using them as well but I th those two pigments by far are my favorite to use and um, I remember hearing about somebody saying something about uh, mica pigments used for like eyeshadow and things like that and it, it stuck in the back of my head and I was at the Dollar Tree um, last week <laughs> you might know where this is going <laughs> um, and at any rate I had to get you know I was down the makeup aisle I had to get some uh, nail files and I was perusing and I found um, these little guys um, they're little shimmery, loose eyeshadow. Um, and I thought, what if, what, what can we do with this? I mean, it's obviously not going to be the quality of, um, uh, the high quality pigment that, that I'm used to with the, the brands I just showed you, but I just wanted to have a little fun. <laughs> so <laughs> I bought four colors. <laughs> um, this it's called LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. And it looks like this. Let me show you a different one that might look better. Um, my Dollar Tree only had four colors. It was this purple uh, grape jelly. Oh, this one's called Sunshine. It's kind of like a yellow gold. And then this is called Lollipop. It's kind of a pale pink. And then this one is Honeysuckle, and it's kind of like a pale beige color. So that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> I've already mixed them up, but I do, I wanted to, I'm going to bring you down and just kind of show you um, how I was trying. They are difficult to get out of that little container, so I wanted to show you um, if that's something you're interested in trying just for fun how I got them out and I'll show you what they look like um, as I mix them up. I already mixed them up um, and then we'll go from there and paint with them. So let's get started. All right. So this little, uh, we're going to use the purple one because it's probably the easiest to see. But when you open it, you've got like this little makeup brush. And if you could see the inside there, not a very big opening and I tried really hard to try and get this um out uh, this plastic there's there's just no way so <clears throat> I took one of these little containers I get these <clears throat> excuse me um at uh on Amazon they um oh I don't remember how many you get 25 or 50 I mean they're they're one ounces so they're nice um with secure lids they're nice to use I use them when I just want to mix up a smaller amount of paint or for you know pigments or anything like that but if you have a dusk mask uh around I would highly recommend wearing it if you're going to be doing this because it gets it it gets into the air and you really don't want to breathe it in. Um, I'm not wearing it because you won't be able to hear me. <laughs> but really all I did was just tap it out and kind of just. And a good amount came out. So uh, I know that there's still a little bit left in here. You don't get a lot. I mean, it is the dollar store, but. It's fun. So anyway, that's how I got them out. If you found a better way to get it out or a way to actually open this thing, please let me know. <laughs> All right, so I just put it in here and then I'm gonna show you it mixed up. I did mix it up with my uh, Bear Glidden Joe Sonia pouring medium. 
um, it's a lot lighter when mixed up, which usually is the case with pigments. They kind of shift colors a little bit. But this is the consistency that it is. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. Let me grab this pink one to see if you can see it a little bit better. <clears throat> they mix up really nice. You can see the shimmer in there. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but I um, I just went ahead and mixed it the same way I would mix any other pigment. I'll just put a little bit of my pouring medium in the bottom and then a scoop. Let me show you the spoons I use. I use these spoons. I get them um, at the Dollar Tree and probably about that much. I'll put in of, of, of the pigment itself and then just stir it up, stir it up to disperse it, get it all uh, mixed up really well so there are no bits. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll just add a bit more of the pouring medium. It's, uh, I hate to say I eyeball it, but I do. <laughs> I'd say maybe another, oh, couple teaspoons in there if you're you know if you're trying to measure it out but if you put too much it's going to get really pale the color will just get really pale and you can always add some more pigments into it to balance it out but at any rate this is how they mix up not bad for dollar store pigments but i'm really curious to see um how they react with the pouring medium I use, you know, the cell activator, the, the whole um, products that are used with the, um, the blooms technique. So that is what we're going to do now. So let's go get started with painting.
and I'm back. So I wanted to show you the dried results of the painting that I just did. Um, now remember these are dollar store pigments <laughs> or well, I, yeah, dollar store pigments. That's probably what I would call them. They are eyeshadow. Um, but I did, it dried really nice. Let me get the sheen in there. There is a nice sheen to it. However, uh, you know, as pigments are, they're trans they're more translucent, so they're going to uh, they're going to fade a bit and I lost I lost the purple and the pink, but I can still see the um the gold in there for sure and subtle shades of uh, that purple. A little bit of the pink, but overall, I mean, it's a beautiful little piece. Um, I would say give it a go. If you're at the Dollar Tree and feel like, uh, feel like trying it out, why not? <laughs> I want to, and what I was thinking next to, uh, this is what I even do with uh, regular pigments uh, because they are a bit more translucent. I'll either, I, I only like to use, um, one or two pigments in a piece and then anchor it with, um, tube paints so that you still get the shine and the color um because if at least I've found uh and this is a good example um if you use straight all pigments I start to lose some of some of the colors some of them get lost they're not all there um but play around with it I I'm gonna play around with this some more um you may see in you know a future video I may pop one or two of those colors in along with um some tube paints I, I'm I'm really curious to see how it works and I, I think there's a place for these um obviously they're not high quality pigments but they are fun to use and um if you want a different color that you don't have in a pigment this is a good option too so overall I think the experiment was a success and pretty fun. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really had a lot of fun making it. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.